Cyrus Quince is the chief magistrate of Flagstone. He's a charismatic, duly elected leader who has only the best interests of the people in mind. There are those, such as the lawyer de Grey, who say that Quince's reputation is built entirely on lies and illusions, but they're just dissidents and criminals. Quince is a tricky, deceptive character. He uses mix-ups so the opponent doesn't know how to block, and illusions so they don't know what to attack. Though he may seem slightly weak when the opponent is wise to his illusions, his power level skyrockets for brief moments when he can make his illusions real. He requires a lot of knowledge to play well. Quince's B special is High Standard, a forward lunging kick. Afterwards, an illusion of Quince automatically appears above the opponent and dashes downward to do his Low Standard. The illusion can't hit or be hit though, it's just for confusion. But if you press the B button twice, then the real quince performs the high standard, then low standard, and the illusion becomes the quince that stood still between those moves. Low standard is a cross-up, so the opponent will have to block it the other way, but they aren't sure which quince is real, so if they try to block low standard, they might end up walking into your attack or throw. Quince's neutral A is a simple punch, but a very important one. It's his fastest hitting ground move, and it can combo into his B attack. Also, if he does BB and the low standard cross-up hits, he can then combo that to A and then B for 3 damage while keeping the opponent in his mix-up blender. His back A normal attack is Truth Geyser, a ground pound that erupts a fountain of coins because money is the ultimate truth. This move launches on hit, allowing for a juggle. It's easy to juggle with his forward A lunging punch. The sequence back A, forward A, cancel to B will deal 2 damage and cause the B to hit very meaty. That's an unfortunate fighting game term, meaning that the very end of the attack will touch them and it makes you especially safe afterwards. His forward A is also notable in that you can hold the button down to send out an illusion to fool the opponent. They might try to react to it, but the real quince is waiting to punish. It's fast, so it's low risk to throw out that illusion here and there. Quince's C special move, Dodge the Question, can get him out of trouble. He's invulnerable from the very first frame of this attack as he splits into two images. This lets him slip out of sticky situations as the expert politician he is. You control which Quince is the real one by holding left or right. After the split, he will automatically perform his Righteous Zeal attack, and so will the illusion of him. If the opponent expects this move, they can punish it, but it can be pretty confusing which is which. Quince's jumping attacks are a punch, his B button positive spin, and his C button mirror called alternative facts. There's a lot going on with his positive spin move. It's generally unsafe, but there's a lot he can do with it. First, he can hold down the button to make an illusion of it. The real Quince will continue his jump arc when you do this, so you can create a positive spin illusion, then come down with a real punch. Next, after doing either a real or illusion version of this move, he can do another action in the air. So he can do air B twice in a row, or an illusion B and then a real B, or a real B and then an illusion B. That sequence is especially useful because it leaves him safe afterwards. His air C mirror can hit the opponent for zero damage, which is still useful because it puts them in hit stun and generally gets in their way. It can also reflect projectiles. That's pretty useful, but you can also put it over their head anytime you get a chance, then start pressuring. Another use of the mirror is placing it after doing air B, just to get it in their way. You can even set up tricky situations like knocking them down with air B, placing the mirror behind them, and then threaten with a lunge punch. If it hits, the mirror's hit stun allows you to combo a punch into B for 3 damage. You can also just stay back, place a mirror, and do some illusion air B moves just to give the opponent the opportunity to react in a stupid way. Quince's ground super, Patriot Mirror, gives him access to a huge amount of power if he can pull it off. The mirror itself can reflect projectiles, and while it doesn't do any damage, if it hits, it then triggers a time-limited mode called Two Truths. A blue meter counts down, showing how much time you have left in this mode. In the mode, all his illusions are real. That means they can actually hit the opponent. If the opponent hits an illusion, it will go away, but the true quince won't take any damage. During Two Truths, your lunge punch becomes a rapid fire lockdown. It will only combo twice, but it's still pretty good. His air B becomes a huge slow moving projectile that he can do twice each jump. 
and pressing ground B once for high standard gives you the benefit of a real illusion low standard without the true Quince having to spend time in that animation. That lets him do some powerful combos, mix-ups, and lockdowns. Another note about Patriot Mirror, even if they block it, the mirror won't go away until they block it three times. That gives you a chance to mix them up with BB while they're stuck blocking. Quince's Air Super, Consent of the Governed, is a full-screen flying punch. Regardless of if it hits or not, two illusionary Quinces appear to fight alongside you. They do random moves and create a lot of confusion. Consent of the Governed is invulnerable at the start, which ensures you'll win any air-to-air -air battles. This is especially important after your B Special, High Standard. That puts opponents in a mix-up where they don't know if you'll attack or throw from the front, or cross up from behind, and they might try to jump out to avoid that mix-up. If they do, you can beat their jump with your invulnerable Air Super. You can even use the Air Super as a way to get in safely and start your mix-up since it's safe on block. If your Air Super counter hits, meaning hits the opponent out of the start of their move, it has the special property of giving you full super meter. It also causes a ground bounce that lets you combo for 3 damage or combo into your Patriot Mirror ground super. Your dream scenario is if you can be in 2 truths mode from Patriot Mirror while also having illusions out from your consent of the governed air super. The two ways to do that are to counter hit with the air super then combo into the ground super as we just showed, or you can start off by hitting with the ground super, then Yomi counter a throw to get full super meter, then immediately air super. Either way, if you pull off this dream scenario, you'll be fighting alongside multiple illusionary copies of Quince that can actually hit the opponent, while still being able to spawn illusions from your other moves that can really hit the opponent too. It's ridiculous! Quince sometimes has to stay back and just place mirrors and poke with Air B cancelled into Illusion Air B while he looks for openings. When he really gets going though, he can put his opponent on tilt as they question how and what they're even supposed to block. He loves being in 2 truths mode as much as he can because he loves honesty and truth. And why just have one truth when you can have two?